Students, um, we are discussing the conversion of analog data into digital data, or in essence, the process of digitization. Students, PCM um, technique, jo hai, pulse code modulation, which is the first technique that we were studying to do that. Um, uski discussion hum logon ne complete ki thi. And now we are going to talk about the second most common technique, which is called delta modulation. Students, PCM, as you must have guessed by now, is a very complex technique. Um, sampling is a complex process. Sampling introduced um, errors when we studied it. You saw that quantization, once again, is completely based on approximation. Yes, we do have some mathematical baselines and formulas that we normally use, but it still introduces um, quantization errors. Students, um, once again, encoding. The choice of the code word um, and, and the, the basis of the encoding that we are used, um, that we are going to use to produce these code words is very important because that can uh, produce more errors. PCM in general is a complex technique. Students, multiple variants were presented, and the most uh, easier to use non complex version of the analog data to digital data conversion technique was the delta modulation or DM. Students, PCM may we work with the different pulses and we work with the amplitude of each one of those pulses or samples. Students, DM may, uh, yeah, delta modulation may, we find the change from the previous sample. So we see that what is the pulse, what is the signal doing from one sample to the next, and based on that, we try to create a delta modulated signal of that analog signal. Of students, uh, the noteworthy thing is that there are no code words in uh, delta modulation. And you will see that in an example, we actually send a, a stream of bits as it is. We do not uh, divide that. We not, do not distribute these bits into distinct code words. What you can see is the process of delta modulation. So in this case, mein, jaisa ke aapko bataya, ke delta modulation uses the change from the previous sample. And based on that, it actually produces a particular DM generated binary signal. And from that signal, it creates a binary stream of bits that is then sent to the receiving end. So in the first bit out here, we start with a zero. Now, as you can see, that our amplitude is increasing. Our amplitude is con continuously increasing. So, the next bit is 1. It's still increasing, 1. We are still going up, 1. The amplitude is still increasing, another 1. We are still increasing. As of this point, we are still increasing, so we have another 1. And the last increase as per the quantization level on this side is again a 1. Now, what we see is from this bit onwards, the analog signal is actually, the amplitude is reducing. So, we come down and our next bit is a 0. It's, the amplitude is still decreasing. Next bit is a 0. Still decreasing, a 0. Still decreasing, a 0. Constant, a 0. And it slowly starts rising up. So, we have got a zero here and then goes up again. It's still increasing, goes up again. So for every decrease in amplitude, when, when, I, when I told you that it finds the change from the previous sample, then um, let's take an example of this bit out here because this is normally the most confusing when, we, when I'm talking about delta modulation. So as you can see, it takes it from the previous sample. There is a one here, because in the previous sample, we are still constant or increasing. So the next one is still 1. Now, let's talk about this bit out here. Why is this a 0? This bit will be a 0, because when you look at the previous sample, which is this sample out here, this sample, the analog signal is actually going down. It's decreasing. So the next bit is going to be a 0. In, the, in this particular sample, it's still decreasing. As you can see, next bit is going to be a zero. So this is the process of delta modulation. Once again, DM finds the change from the 
previous sample and there are no code words here but this um, generated binary data that you see out here that is sent in the um, form of bits one by one.